Okay, what's going on YouTube? Brad Vapes here, back for the third Tuxedo Vapes e-liquid review. And this one is on Cavalier, which is a sweet, refreshing honeydew melon with a hint of pear and strawberry on the exhale. And as per usual, I'm just going to talk about the bottles, the specs, and then we'll get onto the liquids. Um, you can get this in 0, 3, 6, and 12, but we have got it in a 3. Um, it is £6.95 for a 15ml bottle, or £11.95 for a 30ml bottle, and we have got the 15ml bottle, and yeah, so they're your options for bottle sizes. Um, they don't contain any diacetyl, no alcohol, no artificial sweeteners, colours or preservatives, no animal ingredients of any kind, and um, they've been tested, manufactured and produced in the United Kingdom. And yeah, they're 80 VG and 20 PG, and they're all natural flavourings and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so this is Cavalier and Honeydew Melon and Pear, and we'll give it a vape. And we're going to be using it on the Twisted Messes RDA with a lovely pair of fused Clapton's, which I will also include a picture of on screen now, just in case any of you guys are interested. And I am vaping this at 130 watts on this X Cube, um, since it is a 0 0.15 ohm coil. And yeah, that comes out at 4.5 volts. So we'll give it a vape. The airflow is wide open. Um, but yeah, we'll give it a vape. I'll show you the vape production and then we'll talk about the flavour. I have got to say, I found with uh, basically any watermelon liquids that um, they're a little bit, a little bit tickly. Um, I've always, always, always found with watermelon liquids or honeydew melon or any sort of melon. Um, they have got a, a sort of harshness to them. Um, this is, you know, it has got less of that harshness, which I am surprised about. Um, I have not tried a three milligram watermelon or uh, honeydew melon flavour, so that could be, you know, uh, helping that on its way to being less harsh. But um, you know, it is uh, a lot less harsh than what I'm used to uh, in terms of watermelon liquids. Um, and before I forget, these are childproof bottles. They do have little squishy droppers, and they are a cool square bottle with a lovely little label. It's got all its warning uh, and information on the sides and the back. Um, only problem is the dropper, even when the uh, the top is screwed right on, doesn't quite reach the bottom, so you do struggle to get that last mill out of there. Um, but that's just you know just me being picky. Um, but yeah, so the flavour description is Cavalier, sweet, ripe, and delicious. A mix of sweet, refreshing honeydew melon washed over your taste buds with a crisp pear exhale. Um, so it doesn't mention strawberry in the uh, description, but it does say up here at the top that it's honeydew melon with a hint of pear and strawberry on the exhale. So I'll tell you if I do get the pear on the in uh, the watermelon, the honeydew melon on the inhale, and the pear and strawberry on the exhale. Well, I definitely do get the honeydew melon on the inhale, and I do get, because I've mixed my own liquids before, and I have mixed pear into them, and pear isn't a flavour which you want to be, you know, the main flavour, the pear is sort of just a, it's almost a sweetener, and it definitely does come out on the exhale, and it does sweeten up the whole liquid, which is really, really nice. Um, but I can honestly say I'm not really getting any strawberry, um, I'm not sure if maybe that's not supposed to be in that description or maybe, you know, they've updated the recipe since I've been given it, but at this point in time, I'm not really getting any strawberry at all. I mean, the more my brain thinks about it, the more I am getting, you know, the idea that there is strawberry in there, but if it is, if it does have strawberry in it, it's more of the sweetness of the strawberry opposed to the strong, you know, sweet strawberry flavour that we're used to in e-liquids. Um, I'm not really, I'm not getting any main notes of strawberry at all, but I'm getting a really refreshing honeydew melon and you know that sweetness of the pear on the exhale. And vapor production, as you can see, it's pretty good. <laughs> but as you expect, it is an 80 VG juice and I am using it with a really silly build and a dripper with really wide open airflow so you are expected to get, you know, that thick, dense vapor. Um, it is a lovely liquid. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of melons and watermelon flavours myself. Um, I could, you know, I could use that as an oldie vape because it's not overly sweet. It is a nice, you know, it's sweet, but it's, you know, like a mellow sweetness to it. Um, but just the fact that it's honeydew melon, um, I wouldn't be able to use that, you know, very often or that regularly. Um, just because, you know, 
I'm not a big fan of melons, but I am surprisingly getting on with that liquid a lot. I mean, if you look, I have only got about two or three mil left. You'll probably not be able to see that on camera. Um, so I have, you know, I have used it quite quickly, and when I have used it, I have wanted to use more, which is surprising for me. But once I run out of that bottle, just because I'm not a fan of melon, I'm, I'm not going to buy any more. Um, but as for the, what was the other one called? Vision and Crunch, absolutely amazing. Crunch tastes just like cereal. I will be buying that, you know, once I run out of all of the liquids that I've got stocked up up there that you can see. Where is it? Up there. Um, and the Vision was really, really nice as well. Um, it, but like I said, the Vision, it does just need something to make it a bit more festive for the Christmas season. And then if they do add a bit of cinnamon to it, I will definitely, definitely be buying some of that. Um, but Cavalier, Cavalier, whatever it's called, however you pronounce it. If you're into your watermelons or your honeydew melons, definitely grab some because it is really refreshing. Not too sweet and the pear does bring it all together. But if you buy it, unless they've changed their recipe, do not expect the strawberry uh, exhale which they explain or describe because I'm personally not getting that strawberry exhale. But it's lovely. I would recommend it. Definitely check out Tuxedo Vapes. The website will be up in the corner and down in the description below. And I will also put a link to their website and this individual product in the description below. And yeah, that has been Cavalier by Tuxedo Vapes. Thank you for watching. If you've got anything to add, anything to ask or anything to say, just ask down below in the comments. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already because we've got one more Tuxedo Vapes video coming out. If you want to watch any other ones, there's already two on my channel down below. Two of which, you know, were part of a giveaway, but that giveaway is now over. And there is one more that's going to be coming out very soon. Um, hopefully the day after this one comes out. Um, but yeah, just subscribe if you want any more videos or any more giveaways by me. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.